Hi, this is the Phoenix. Back to another energy update for the sign of Pisces. Just keep in mind, these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Pisces. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming true for you guys today. So there seems to be some type of confusion or you're having a lot of confused thoughts within yourself. Because you're trying to figure out a lesson that you know you should be learning but for some reason you can't seem to figure it out and it is causing some confusion on your end because there is a decision that needs to be made on your behalf but you're having trouble figuring it out. But luck is on your side, so things will actually move for you in the direction you want it to, and you will actually get through whatever this lesson is that you're currently going through that you can't seem to find the answers to. to eventually figure it out so don't be too hard on yourself about figuring it out right now You could be dealing with a Leo, you could have it in your chart, but it's ego that is blocking you from seeing what it is, is in your best interest. So it would seem that you need to take a step back and figure out what you're being egotistical about. And the time for doing that is now. So you need to take a minute and step back to figure out what it is that you're not seeing or you're not doing in the right way. Yeah. It is causing you to uh, delay an awakening that needs to happen, right? And it is also delaying healing that you need to go through. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, so you can have it in your chart. But there is a balancing out that needs to happen here. But if you constantly keep being in your ego, you're not going to actually see what it is you need to see. All right, so something is not going to be illuminated for you until you come out of that ego that you're currently in. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but you're kind of egotistical and, and trying to match someone, probably another female in your orbit, but you're trying to do a competition with someone based on ego. And that is what is blocking you from finally figuring out what it is you need to. And it is what is holding you back from having a stable new beginning. But the timing for this balance is here. So you are going to snap out of it eventually and realize that exactly what it is you need to do to get where you want to go. Luck is on your side. Things will be moving in your favor. All right. But... You need to get out of that ego because you are believing to yourself that you have the higher ground here. That you have to defend your position and they have to back off of you. I think you're overdoing it. And it is what is delaying your prosperity in your life. So it's time to let go and move on from that. 
all right you could be dealing with a cancer you could have it in your chart but it is time for you to move on time for you to let go of this competition that you have yourself in and it's time for you to move on because it is time for you to learn the lesson that needs to be learned get out of your ego and get into a place of readiness for abundance to come into you you need to leave the past behind so if this person hurt you by ghosting you or by taking money from you and not returning it or whatever is the case for any one of you out there you know why you're beefing with this person and it's blocking your way <clears throat> yeah because there is something that you're not seeing about the whole situation there is something that is being hidden from you for a reason all right so you need to decide with facts what is best for you and what you need to cut out because while you are trying to be right you're also blocking your way from abundance coming in could be a fire sign you're dealing with aries leo or sage but you're not taking action towards what it is you actually should be taking action towards instead you're in this energy of wanting revenge and that doesn't make any sense it's blocking you from more abundance coming into you yeah so you need to let this awakening of yourself happen could be a libra you're dealing with otherwise you're going to stay stuck in a codependent state where you're going to always be going over and over in your head what this person did to you it's time to let it go before a new beginning in love could happen so this could be a relationship for some of you yeah so stop ignoring the red flags stop ignoring things that you should be looking at and releasing this is this seems to be an issue here Okay, so I got that they broke your heart. And I also got that you were in a lot of pain. And I do get that you want them to not find any victory in their life. And they cannot succeed. I get that. I know that rage very well. But it is also blocking you from walking away. It's also keeping you from having emotional fulfillment with someone else. It's pressing you down and it's keeping you stuck where you are. It's time to let go of it. Let this ending happen. Do the healing that is necessary on yourself. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to move on to a new beginning. You're not going to find what it is you're looking for. You're not going to be able to be in that energy of receiving. Yes, I get they broke your heart. And you're trying to get over it but are you really when you're procrastinating and obsessing and wishing them evil and bad this is holding you back your mindset may be the thing that is holding you back you need to go within and search for the answers that you need or that you know you have concerning this person or this relationship could be a Virgo you're dealing with or Capricorn but you know who this is and you know who you're holding on to and you know who you have been wishing ill because you want them to feel the same way that you felt i do get that i have been there but it doesn't serve you to stay in that type of energy accept the truth let go of it they will have their karma returned to them you just don't be the one to try to make their karma come to them give up on this venture and see that love does want to come into you get out of your ego get out of blocking your own way and actually release whatever it is that needs to be released because there are a lot of other options out there for you so stop holding on it's time to let go
all right so let's see what is the best advice i can get for you guys from spirit spirit the best advice for my pisces in this specific situation Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seedling, delight, laying foundations, divine plan. So all this is a divinely plan. So you need to trust the process here. Come out of the cave, persecution, expression. So you need to express yourself to someone. If that is the way you are to release yourself, express what it is you feel to this person. Yes, just say yes to yourself. Choose you in this. Choose your growth. Choose your abundance. How are you being called to step up and lead? What is it that your instinct is telling you to do? Do you think that you should stay stuck in what it is you've been stuck in? Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? So there is a divine plan for your life and you are the one that is holding yourself back. There is abundance and love that does want to come into you, but you need to release someone or something first. All right. So this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.